Husband wants me to just sign the divorce papers when they come. Husband has told me he wants a divorce again yesterday. I pleaded the first time to work things out. And we did. We were good. His family came for over two months and they left a week ago and yesterday he says he wants the divorce. He didn't say why, he wouldn't even tell me the lawyer or what is in the paperwork I'm supposed to be getting. I am just done with it. We were married for five years and he used me just to get his papers because it all started not even two weeks after he got it. He's a coward and not a good person. It took me until now to see who he really is. It took now to see his family is full of assholes who play dumb games. I'm going to be leaving and going back to my home state because I hate where I am and he was the only thing that was tying me to here. But I need a shit ton of advice as to how to go about it and what to do because I'm so lost. He had me be a stay at home wife the entire time so I have no money unless he gives it to me. He pretended to want to work things out until he got what he wanted. And he lied to me for years. I gave my all to this marriage. I fixed what he thought were issues and tried so hard to be a great wife. Now, I'm just lost and I need help figuring out WTF to do and where to go from here. So basically, what am I supposed to do with this divorce? And I if this is applicable in this sub but how do I handle doing this physically alone until I'm able to leave? Do not just sign anything he puts in front of you. You need your own lawyer. Reach out to your network, get some referrals, and do some consultations. Reach out to a divorce attorney on your own. Especially since the situation is not amicable, you want someone familiar with local family laws to represent you. A lack of access to accounts should not stop you, but mention it to the lawyer. Courts frown upon financial alienation by spouses in divorce proceedings, and should help ensure you are not cut off from resources you need. When you say papers do you mean a green card, or did he become a citizen? Moving right away may make the divorce more difficult. At least find a local family law attorney first to represent you in this case and ask them how your moving out of state could affect things. Don't sign anything, get your own lawyer. Absolutely do not sign anything. Get a lawyer, have husband's attorney sent to yours. They will try to screw you if you don't have good representation. Also make sure you're getting what you deserve. Don't settle, if you own half that 401k get it. Side question but did his visiting family include a cousin of the opposite sex in your age group? You may have been looking at his future so who ll piggyback on his green card. Remember to notify immigration. You have money. You have half of his money. You just don't have it yet. Always remember that family court is where the points don't count and the rules are made up. Get a lawyer. The fact that his family came for a visit and that he seems to have married you for citizenship tells me that his family is arranging a marriage for him so he can bring a cousin over from Algeria. I'm sorry you are dealing with this. Get a lawyer and get the hell away from all of them. If he was a devout Muslim, this wouldn't happen. Please don't blame it on the religion. They will get their punishment for using you. Jurisdiction matters. Now. But contact immigration first since you say he used you just to get his papers. They may be able to get started on stopping his immigration process and may be able to direct you on where to go next. This isn't a first for them. Also, freeze your credit cancel credit cards that are in both your names if possible. Get a lawyer and explain the immigration stuff, forced to be a stay-at-home wife, and that your spouse will have to pay him. Look for a job to get sown income. What country is he from? In addition to your own attorney you can find out how to look up court documents in your state. It's public record if he filed for divorce and you should be able to find out what was filed yourself. You can also look up if your husband is involved in any other legal cases in your state. One of the first questions an attorney is likely to ask is if your husband has already filed and the info from it. Gather any financial records you can find like account info and taxes. Get a divorce attorney, do not sign anything that your attorney hasn't told you to sign. 
Start by getting a lawyer and don't sign anything until your lawyer looks at IT. If he has connections outside of the country get a lawyer ASAP to make sure your assets don't leave jurisdiction. Also start collecting documentation of things. Take pictures of checks, pay stubs, account statements. Do not sign anything without having your own lawyer look IT over and explain IT to you. Lock down your financials and check your credit. Get an attack dog of a lawyer. A decent lawyer should get you something of the joint assets. Absolutely do not just sign the papers. You 100 need a lawyer. Never again let a man convince you to give up making your own income. All you are doing is handing over your autonomy for him to be in full control over you. Never fix yourself for some man. Be the person you want to be, not who he wants you to be. Do not make yourself subservient ever again. Thanks for letting another clown into the country. Get a lawyer. Get your own cell phone plan and bank account. Make lists. Get a lawyer, preferably one who knows immigration law. If, by his papers you mean work permits, he may be wending his way home to his country of origin if he divorces you because work visas are predicated on your marriage until he is a naturalized citizen. If you mean that he is a naturalized citizen, he may not. In any case, a lawyer can tell you how to proceed. He used you for the green card call immigration ASAP. Surely they will help you. Make copies of all your joint tax returns. Get some money out of the bank so you have cash. He probably cancelled your credit card. Don't leave, find a lawyer. Get a lawyer now. Don't use the same lawyer as your husband. My mother did that and it was a mess. Get immigration involved too. Here is the math don't sign anything get a divorce attorney only signing what your attorney says to sign he might try to bully you or sweet talk you into signing but under no circumstance should you sign anything. Find hard copies of all documents you can, keep them safe a not where he can get to them. Also make electronic copies. Look at every bank investment account and take screenshots showing the time and damp stamp of your computer. Download all statements. While it's fresh in your head, make a journal of everything that might be important. You said you were a Zam, how many kids? You may not be just looking at divorce but custody as well. Getting up and leaving five hours away may not be an option unless you want to relinquish custody. Get a lawyer and a full financial disclosure. Get your half. Tell your lawyer, it's all about green card. Do not sign a fucking thing he puts in front of you until you have your own lawyer read it. He wants a divorce then it's going to be on mutual grounds and mutual terms, he is 100 trying to swindle you. I guarantee he's trying to get out of alimony and he thinks he can bully you into signing this. Don't sign a thing. Is anyone also thinking alimony? Papers Social Security. Social Security traceable tax records. Traceable tax records sweet sweet spousal support. He suddenly doesn't have money? Hire a pie to catch photos of him working under the table or selling shit online at a swap meet. Live well from his selfishness. Get an attorney and report your husband for immigration fraud. Don't sign anything without a lawyer's presence. Tell what you said here to the lawyer and ask if anything can be done since he intentionally financially abused you while using you for a green card. Don't sign anything also do not ignore IT get a lawyer we had a friend years ago who got screwed because his ex told him to ignore the stuff because she was coming back. So he didn't even open anything. Amazing how many dumb American women fall for this. A who is crazy e. Send them to your own lawyer. Get a lawyer and then the divorce. What a boz. No. Never sign anything without understanding what's in it. You should sign divorce papers, because it sounds like he's done with the relationship and it will only get worse from here. But you don't need to sign those divorce papers, at least not without having your own lawyer look at them.